In each of these videos, I've tried to give a short answer from the Bible to some of the big questions that we're asking. But why should we listen to the Bible? Why should we care what it has to say? If you were to ask me that question, my immediate response would be, because it's a book from God. He wrote it. But I'm aware that there are other books in the world that claim the same thing. Other books that disagree with the Bible. So what's different about the Bible? Should I listen to it? Should you listen to it? That's the question we're going to answer today in short answers to big questions. Should you listen to the Bible? If it's God's word, a book from God, then surely the answer is yes. But can we believe that? When other books also make the same claim? To begin with, I want to say, just because other books claim to be a book from God, that doesn't mean the Bible isn't. For instance, the Quran claims to be revelation from God, just like the Bible does. The two books are so different, so in reality only one of them can be right. But one of them can be right. Why do I think the Bible is the right one? Why do I think we can believe the Bible? Well, first, the Bible is rooted in incredible and verifiable history. The Bible is not just a book of stories or a book of wise teachings. The Bible is primarily an account of God's dealings with the world in history. That instantly makes it a book that can be tested, and over and over it stood that test. Let me give you one example. One of the astounding claims of the Bible is that Jesus died and then rose from the dead. No way, surely not. That doesn't happen. I'm with you on that. Yet people saw him die. Then the same people and many more, the Bible speaks of a time when there were 500 at one time, they saw him alive again. These are historical claims verified by witnesses. The second reason why I believe we can trust the Bible is the unity of its message. That might not sound much. Certainly I have books on my shelf that hold together well with a single clear message throughout. Yet they are either written by one person or by a few under the influence of an editor. The Bible was written by over 40 people and it took 1300 years to complete. Have you ever played that game where you make up a story as a group of people? Each of you can only add one word at a time as you go around the circle. What happens? The story goes all over the place. That's not the case with the Bible. It has a single message and a single centre. The good news of Jesus Christ. As each person adds their bit, that doesn't change. To me, that's remarkable and points to something more going on here. Then the third reason. The way it consistently changes the lives of all kinds of people. In January 1999, I went along to a church in Leeds for the first time. I'd been brought up going to church and had become a Christian several years before. Yet I'd come to a point in my life where I wasn't living for God anymore. I was doing what I wanted. Church and anything to do with God had been put on the back burner. I'd gone that evening because I was too embarrassed to say no. During the service, someone got up and read from the Bible. As they did so, the words smacked home into my heart. They exposed my lack of love for God and caused me to turn back to him. I learned that night the Bible is no ordinary book. Should we listen to the Bible? If it's God's word, then yes. And I think the evidence points to that. But don't just take my word for it. Why don't you read the Bible for yourself? If you haven't got one, I'll put some links in the description below to online versions, or you could ask us for one through our website. Again, the links are in the description below. If you don't know where to start, look up the book of Mark in the contents page at the front. That will take you straight to an account of the life, death and resurrection of Jesus. I want to encourage you to see for yourself just how incredible the Bible is. 
and how amazing Jesus is. Thanks for watching Short Answers to Big Questions. If you want to ask more questions, use the comments or contact us through our church website. The links are in the description below. If you want to know when we put out more of these videos, why not subscribe and click the notifications button? If you'd like to, you can also join us for our Sunday services. They're available through our YouTube channel. We upload a playlist each Sunday morning with songs, prayers, children's talk and a Bible talk. It would be great if you could join us.